Intensive urban growth leads to more energy use, increasing carbon emissions and air pollution. PolyU scholars have found smart approaches to boost urban energy efficiency to save the environment without sacrificing human comfort. One solution is the life cycle smart optimization and diagnostic technologies developed by Professor Wang Sheng Wei and his team. Our innovation technology addresses the challenges in optimizing energy systems and controls, ensuring the energy efficient and healthy operation of buildings. Professor Wang's research began in 1993 and his solution was implemented at the International Commerce Center in 2005. His optimization strategies, which involve examining a building's energy systems from design to construction to operation, have been adopted by over 20 buildings. Some buildings have become smart, energy efficient and grid responsive by following the principles of energy flexibility. This allows users and suppliers to alter their energy consumption and production based on the power grid's condition. During peak hours, when the grid foresees a decrease in power supply, those buildings would cut back on energy usage smartly without sacrificing the quality of essential services significantly. This approach and related technologies have proven to be highly effective, contributing to 15 to 42 percent of annual energy savings for the buildings. A new building project located atop the West Kowloon High Speed Rail Station is currently underway. It is not only to save costs of energy use, but also to build low carbon tomorrow in Hong Kong and beyond. Urban dwellers tend to stay indoors longer and use more energy for air conditioning. Professor Niu Jianlei is leading a team to improve outdoor environments of cities. His research involves a nanotechnology-based material mixed with water that can absorb or release large amounts of heat during phase transition. It can function as thermal energy storage and heat transfer working fluid. To replace plain water or ice slurry now commonly used in buildings cooling applications. The new material can also eliminate the use of electricity-driven chillers, which consume the most electricity in current air conditioning systems. Another solution involves a systematic design methodology for creating localized outdoor comfort hubs in a newly built or renewed community where residents can enjoy more outdoor time. The design methodology is people-centered, yet very much computer and AI-based so that architecture creation and human perception can be simulated and optimized in a virtual world before a new community is constructed. This results in making city residents more resilient to heat waves and less reliant on air conditioning. Furthermore, the LOX design has the advantage of addressing public health concerns. We are the first to use computational fluid dynamics technique to review the airflow pattern across our windows which happen to be a factor affecting how airborne disease can be transferred in high-rise residential buildings. To this day, PolyU scholars continue to work out the best ways to help industry reduce energy waste and build public support for energy efficient and sustainable practices, contributing to the government's carbon neutrality goals for the betterment of mankind.